third party involvement now we know that in a contract there are two parties the first party is the offerer an offerer and there is an offeree so we have two parties offerer gives an offer to the offeree saying he'll pay him rupees 1000 if he files his income tax return this is a valid contract wherein the offerer wants to get the offerer wants that his return should be filed and he he is ready to pay 1000 for it offeree is also ready to file the return for rupees 1000 so we have a contract here so the consideration is being exchanged between two parties offerer and the offeree what do you think would be the case when the third party would enter this contract that is now this offeree is to receive 1000 from the offerer what if the offeree says you do not pay me 1000 there is a person with the name let's say third party i owe him 1000 that is i need to pay him 1000 so what you do is directly pay him rupees 1000 which you were supposed to give me this is perfectly fine this is perfectly valid as we know that consideration should be at the desire of promiser and it may move from promisee or any other person anybody can be the beneficiary the promisory the promisee may be the beneficiary or someone appointed by the promisee may also be the beneficiary so what is happening is this consideration is being paid to the third party now this third party has been attached to the contract now tomorrow if the offerer does not pay third party what will be the case can this third party so the offerer or it has to compulsorily recover the money from offeree only does the offeree say that it was agreed by the third party that offerer will pay him so now third party does not have any right or any claim against the offeree offeree may also put that point before him that you agreed you said you are okay if offerer pays you so my liability was over there now you have to receive from offerer you recover from him can he say that or can the third party say i am only related to you you owe me money so i can i'll recover from you i'll not sue the offerer second does this third party have the right if it wants have the right to sue the offerer this all can be understood if we go ahead and read the points in the section